or the bride himself. Uh -huh. God told him, look, you got, you, shouldn't I have mercy on 120,000 people who don't know their right hand from their left hand? God is all about saving people. God is all about preserving his people. But his people must repent. Yes. Yes. If, they never, if they never had repented, they would have been destroyed. If Sodom had repented, they wouldn't have been destroyed. God is calling for a time now for the United States and for the world to repent and trust God. And the song say, I found the answer and I learned to pray. With faith to guide me, with God beside me. I found that I found the way. The sun is shining for me each day. I found the answer and I learned to pray. Amen. Thank God we have been fed this morning, amen, Woo! by the word of God, amen, and we've got the answer, we got the answer through God's word, that God wants us to pray, to seek his face, amen, be willing to repent and turn, amen, and we'll see the results of that, how God will bless, amen. And so we just thank God at this time. We know that this word yeah. has met each one of us right where we are. And we know when the word of God goes forth, it demands a response. And so the response for all of our listeners could be different. But I know that it's left us all in a better place. For the unsaved, I pray that it's caused you now to want to be saved. And I want you to know that no matter where you are in terms of your geographic location, you can be saved at this very moment. God will meet you right where you are if you just cry out and say, Lord, I need you. God, I invite you to come into my life. Jesus, I want you to be my Lord and Savior. The Bible says in Romans 10, 9 and 10, if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus, and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you shall be saved. Salvation is being offered to you today. And the Lord said, if you come to him, he will no wise cast you out. He said, behold, I stand at the door and knock, and if any man hear my voice and open up the door, I will come in and sup with him and he with me. Is anybody willing to open that door today and just say, Lord, yes. I invite you in. I want you to change my whole life. Is there one after hearing the message this morning who wants to rededicate their life to the Lord and say, God, I'm coming back to you. I want to draw closer to you than I've ever been before. I know I made my mistakes and I know I made some U-turns along the way, but Lord, I'm coming back fully committed to you. Yeah. If that's you today, Say that to God. You must say it for yourself. And the scripture tells us that he is married to a backslider. Amen. And he welcomes you with open arms. Perhaps someone today in hearing this message is saying, you know what? I know now that I need to connect myself to a branch of Zion. I need a church home to be a part of. I need to be fed on a regular basis. I realize that my spiritual food is even more important to my existence than my natural food. And after hearing this broadcast, I have made my decision that I want to be a part of the St. Judah family or some other branch of Zion, but I'm going to find myself connected and committed to a place where I can grow Amen. And use what God has given me to bless the kingdom of God. And if that is you, we pray that you pray the prayer and ask God to help you to do just that. And if you are saved and you already have a church home, this word should still inspire you to even be a better Christian, to be that example, amen, and to be that light, amen, because Jesus said we're to be the light of the world. So we pray again that the word of God that came from the man of God, which is Reverend Cooper on this morning, has blessed you richly and your life will forever be changed. At this time, we will receive our benediction, amen, which is our covering. 
until we fellowship with you again. Now let us look unto the Lord, amen. Now unto him who's able to keep us from falling and to present us faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. To the only wise God, our Savior, be glory, majesty, dominion, and power, both now and forevermore. And let the believers all around the world say, Amen. Be blessed.